Well, welcome everybody. So I got this package in the mail today. It was actually from a viewer. He sent me a, an email a couple weeks back and said he found some uh, really old German-made wrenches that he wanted to give me. And I asked him uh, what brand they were. And he sent me an email back. He said, oh, there's some Stahlvilla in there. And I was like, well, you should probably keep those because those are probably worth some money. And he sent an email back and said, no, I want to give them to you. So I didn't argue with him. I gave him my address and uh, he sent them over. And, and I must say, I was only expecting maybe like one or two wrenches. And I got this package that weighs about 20 pounds. So there must be a lot of stuff in here. So the, the viewer wishes to remain anonymous. I'll just say he's from the, from the southwest or the southern United States. And I think he said he found these uh, on a boat. Oh, I must say he did a really nice job packaging these. So it looks like the first one here is separately packaged. Let's take a closer look at it. It looks like it's a Ghidorah. That looks like a big guy. Wow, that's that's very generous of you, I must say. I wasn't expecting to get <laughs> the wrenches this big, because this is a, a genuine German-made Ghidorah. It looks to be pretty old. Almost looks like somebody drilled a hole up in there. But we'll have to pull out the catalog and see if they still make this one. So this a, it's got two inches. On one end, and it's got one and thirteen sixteenths on the other. And you can tell this thing is pretty old um, because of the finish on it. It's got like an older style uh, chrome finish. So I'm guessing this is probably, I don't know, maybe 60s or 70s. It could be even earlier. In the early in the 1970s and early 80s, Ghidorah actually made most of their wrenches in India. They had a uh, a forge out there that they were doing that but they closed that it was in the early 80s sometime like 83 84 and then they started making them back in Germany but wow that's that's quite a gift even if it was just this but we got a whole box full of wrenches here so let's see what else we got all right so we got a stall, a stall villa and this is a combination box end open end and that looks to be one and one eighth so it looks like you got a little bit of cleanup to do um, just some very very light rusting not nothing much I actually think that'll probably clean up pretty nicely we got another one here it looks like the same style number 13 this one's a 1 and 1 16th. I wonder what these letters mean. So you got a W and a V over here. I don't know if that's maybe a date code. And he did say he, he threw in a Baco. So this is a, a Swedish made Baco. I believe Baco is owned by uh, Snap-on now. But yeah, made in Sweden. And they make very, very good tools. But yeah, that's that's a nice combination, and that is a one inch, one inch wrench. So these look in pretty good condition if they were really on a boat, because I'm used to seeing, you know, tools marine, tools used in marine environments they, they don't fare very well, because of all the corrosion. So I'll zoom you, zoom you in a little bit on this one. So that looks like an unbranded one, Drop Forge Steel, Germany. I think a, a lot of these like major uh, tool makers like uh, Davi Dot and, and and Belzer in this period they made a lot of unbranded tools for for companies and these would be things that would be thrown into like um, you know for assembly purposes maybe like a like a end mill or something like that that they would throw in there. 
So these have a little bit of rust on them, but I think that these could be actually cleaned up. These ones are metric. We got 16, 17, we got a 15 and 14, and then we got looks like a six and a seven. There we got another big, big Stalvilla. This is a one and a quarter, and that's a number 13. And that one has an X on it. So we got three different codes there. That might just be the the die that was used for might be like a quality control. If you ever look at like the bottom of a of a soda can, there's a, a colored little dot, like a mark. Apparently that's the machine that actually prints out the labels on uh, aluminum cans. It puts that little dot there and if there's ever a problem they can just pull all the the one color and this might be the same deal if they find a problem with the with the actual blank or the die they can go in and pull all the ones that have that that label on there but yeah wow thank you it's extremely generous so that so that's a nice one that's a that's a, a Davi dot there double offset box in that's a 12 and 10 so we got another Davi dot. We got a num this one's a 14, 15, and then we got a Ghidorah, and it's a German-made one. So we got a 12, 14. So then we got a bunch of uh, double open-ended wrenches here. And these look to be all Davi dot, and it looks like on some of these. Um, the chrome is a little bit messed up on one side and on the other side it looks pretty much perfect so that makes me think it was sitting in um, water possibly for an extended period of time but these really are in still in pretty good condition considering their age and we've got some more of the 13 style so there's an 11 32nd and we got a Baco, another Baco. This one's seven sixteenths. And we got another Stahl Villa. This one's a five eighths. There's a nineteen thirty second, an eleven sixteenths, and a twenty five thirty second. So now we got a fifteen sixteenths. So looks like somebody was doing some caulking or something when they were using this. Alright, looks like we get one more thing in here. Yeah, it looks like there's a note. There's another smaller one of these around here somewhere, but I haven't found it yet. It's looking like it's a, maybe a pipe wrench. Yeah, it looks like that's what it is. So yeah, that's a that's a nice, really big pipe wrench. So that's the um, what do they call that? The Swedish style, I believe. But yeah, basically that's how you adjust it. But oh, wow, thanks. That's nice. This one looks like well, it's riveted, so it doesn't look like you can take it apart, but. It does look like you could probably paint it. Maybe that can turn into another another restoration video. Getting this thing up to up to standard. Oh wow, thanks. That's really appreciate you sending me this. I think that's it. All right. Well, I just want to thank again the the viewer who wishes to remain anonymous who sent these in. I really do appreciate that. I was definitely not expecting this much. This many things or the the very large sizes because they didn't really manufacture a lot of these small these larger ones they probably were really low production so i think what i'm going to do with these i'm going to probably do something else maybe a, a, a mini restoration video where i show how i clean the rust off these at least my typical process for doing that and then the the, the pipe wrench we may do something something uh, more in depth on and uh, I don't think it's actually labeled 
I don't see any brand names on here. Uh, but I know Ghidorah and Davida both made this, and it kind of looks like the Ghidorah blue that you often see. All right, well, thanks again. I really do appreciate you sending me this stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, and I'll catch you guys next time.